Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine, the Money Coach, and I went to Invest Fest this year, my very first time. I went with the intention of what I wanted to get out of the event. Like I wanted to make sure to network and get contacts and things like that so that I can collaborate with people once I left there. I also wanted to be educated and I knew with any conference you'll be inspired, right? So my opinion that's exactly what invest fest was a lot of inspiration which is great and in addition to that i feel like the sound there in the larger room it was a really bad echo and i'm hard of hearing i'm not sure about other people that have you know great hearing but for me um, i'm deaf in one ear so that was very hard for me to hear so i went to the very first session that they had about mental health and money and I was able to sit in actually the very first row because there was no one really there it was literally like 15 people there okay that place should have been flooded with talking about mental health but anyway so yeah that was the only session that I feel like I got a lot out of because I was right there that I was able to read read lips and I was able to hear better but in the other rooms, other sessions, I could not hear that good at all. So I would catch every other word. So I decided not to even go to any other sessions and waste my time. I actually got up in the middle of who was talking. When Diddy came out and they didn't have the projector going like the screen that's a little bit further back. So if you didn't get VIP, VIP was close to the stage. I got general admission, which was actually $250. But the projectors, the, the TVs that they had up there, once someone would come out, you would think that they would, you know, put that on the screen so we can see. But it was so delayed and it was just annoying. So anyway, I got up and I went down to where the vendors were. And that's where I found the most value for my money. I just, I talked to everyone. There was so much going on. They had a DJ going. They had entertainment. There was someone there hula hooping, playing violin. So many good things. And so although I did get a little bit of inspiration in, with the mental health panel, with all the rest of them, I wasn't able to hear it that well. So I'm not even sure what they really even said. So I didn't get anything from that. And that's that's me i was able to collaborate with like mark from better better wallet sweet guy very nice and kind and we're going to be working on some things together i got with fidelity i was able to get with the director of diversity inclusion there and so i'm a speaker so i speak from here and there and I asked the guy, hey, do you do do you all have people come in to talk about mental health and money? Which is so very important, right? And he said, he said, yes, of course, let me get your LinkedIn, let me get your contact information. I gave him my card and everything we connected on LinkedIn right right there on the spot, discussed it a little bit. And I'm going to be following up again to make sure that we're all good and he remembers me and that when that time comes that they're looking for speakers to talk about money inside of these diverse communities that I'm the first one. I, I feel like I'm very well qualified for a number of reasons, which is a whole nother topic. Now I've been over the past week or so, I've been seeing so many people do reviews for InvestFest. And it is amazing how everyone has their own view and perspective of how it went for them. I love that. I love that everyone saw it differently. That just really put, really shows you just how, how, how we're all different and then just how, how we all learn the different levels that we are. But there were some really, really good speakers there that I wish I would have heard their their segment. But I tried to email, in, email EYL, 
but no response and I also just saw that they're selling the replays and I'm just like I really feel like everyone who attended should automatically get the replay right of all the segments I would love that that now that if I got all of that that would make me complete so I'll be able to at least hear I feel like I've got my money's worth but just as it is right now I don't feel like I got my money's worth but I don't regret it I don't regret it at all but will I be going to invest fest next year if they have one probably not probably not I would tell someone if they were looking to go next year or any future years if you're looking for inspiration or looking to connect with other individuals I would say definitely go there were some really really good business people there to network with go with the plan anytime you go to in any conference whether it's invest fest or not I would definitely go with the plan on what you intend to get out of the conference get out of the whole situation the food there okay let's talk about food I'm just I mean as, as it pops up in my head we're gonna we're gonna talk about it the food I paid $13 for a turkey wrap so it was literally a, a wrap with a cold wrap with lettuce turkey some cheese and I think it maybe had cucumber in it and it was cut in half it was I mean just a regular wrap it wasn't like an oversized wrap 13 bucks and then <laughs> I already had I got a water before I got there the guy uh, charged me for the water that I had already gotten somewhere else and I, I'm glad I caught that because it was like $20 and I was like sir are you telling me this wrap is $20 I was about to give it back <laughs> But I was really hungry, so the $13, I was just like, okay, whatever. But anyway, there wasn't any water. I feel like they should have at least provided some type of hydration station for, for people because it was very hot outside. Like, oh my God, oh my God. Um, And they stated that there were 20, or over 20,000 people there in attendance. I, I can believe it. <laughs> I can believe it. I get very antsy and uh, anxious around large crowds. So that also um, bothered me quite a bit because it was hard to maneuver. People were coming from everywhere. You couldn't move. Um, at certain times so like when people coming out of the auditorium I was going into the auditorium or when they were in session I would go down to the vendor sec uh, uh, vent the vendor center the vendor center I don't even think that's what it's called the vendor area whatever anyway but yeah there was quite a bit of people everybody was taking pictures videos I know their Instagram is popping, okay? <laughs> but it was it was fun though. It was fun. I had my one of my best friends there, and I met two of his other friends. One of I I one I had already met before. But everybody was super sweet. I'm glad there was no chaos, like you know, like commotion. You know what I mean? Commotion. It was no commotion with all of us there. So not not that I saw, but it was just a lot of people. The parking, you, I mean, just like any conference, you definitely want to have your parking planned out before you go to an event like this, especially in Atlanta. Parking is already crazy. So at, at any point <laughs> of, of time of day, parking in Atlanta is chaotic. So you definitely want to get that parking beforehand. And you also want to plan to get to the event at least an hour before because you're going to be in traffic trying to park got to walk into the building i wore heels the first day it was a big mistake and they were my comfortable heels so i was very strategic and intentional with this i really thought i would be okay but i was not okay by the time the, the, the day <laughs> i was not okay by the time the day ended and then i had to walk 
like three blocks. Yeah, I had to walk like three blocks to get to, to the car, it was not it was not okay. I, I slung those babies off. In a nutshell, Invest Fest was all right with me. I just probably won't go again unless maybe they invite moi <laughs> to be a speaker. I'm not sure how long they've been doing this, but hopefully they take what everybody is saying about the event into consideration to make it better next time. I'm definitely not downplaying the guys because the guys are very knowledgeable. This was a, a great event with great people, great speakers, amazing. And I really love David Banner. David Banner, I think her name is Shanti, um, Chris, and a doctor, I think his name was Dr. West, the, the, the session that talked about mental health and money. It's so, 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 so very, very important to check your mental health, to keep your mental health in check because it affects everything. It affects everything, including your money and how you manage it. It doesn't matter how much money you have if your mindset and your mental state is not together. I mean, time and time again, we have heard of millionaires you know we we've heard the names that have taken their life because they're just not happy and it's not worth it check in with yourself and we'll talk more about that later but invest fest it was cool it was real i appreciate you allowing me we well, didn't allow me I paid but anyway thanks for having me um i made some great contacts and enjoyed the entertainment i cried a little too i forgot to tell y'all about i cried that's another story uh i cried i laughed i had a good time I had me a 13 dollar turkey wrap and yeah that's my review if you want to hear more go ahead and hit that subscribe button like button and share. Until next time.